Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by M for the week starting 15th of June 2020. We're going to have seven cards on the table and uh, yeah, one for each day of the week. And then we're going to start right now. So, <clears throat> Monday, the 15th of June, Aquarius. And for you, we have Six of Cups. Alrighty. <coughs> Tuesday. We have Two of Cups, Six of Cups, and Two of Cups. And then we have Seven of Swords. And then we have Five of Swords. Sure. Friday is King of Swords. Saturday, Queen of Coins. And King of Wands. What are some people to deal with in the second part of this week? Three of Cups. Some small celebration, get together, happy time with your friends. Something like that. Small success. Okay, now we're gonna let me just check the cards. Okay. We're going to pay them immediately. Good? Good. <laughs> anyway, let's do that. Six of Cups, Monday. We are pairing with ten of wands. Two of Cups. We are pairing with Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords, with Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, Thursday. We are pairing with Nine of Cups. King of Swords, Friday, we are pairing with the Sun. Queen of Coins, Saturday paired with Queen of Pentacles, the same one, two Queen of Coins on oh, no, Saturday, and now King of Wands, Sunday, paired with Two of Cups. Do we have Two of Cups? I believe Tuesday, yes. All right, Page of Swords here. <clears throat> Some news calls for celebration, something new and say, yes, yeah, somebody comes, some of your friend is coming to give you news and you are kind of celebrating a little bit there. That kind of these two energies, they go together quite very, uh, quite well. <coughs> news about some celebration, exam, somebody passes exam, yeah. Anyway, Six of Cups with Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is, it seems to me, you're going to be dropping this burden. It's a lot of ideas that you have in mind. It's when we have lots of talents, lots of ideas, and you just burden yourself. Nothing can really complete, nothing can be completed until you uh, separate or divide or uh, going one after another, you know, uh, until you have all of it together like this one every time will be burdened you have to kind of make a decision here if that's the case your talents your ideas it could be just a lot of work or a work that is really hard prolonged something that doing for a long time and it's about to be finished all right you have to eventually finish but it's burdened already it is with a six of cups, your environment, somebody's coming to congratulate you. I think if you're gonna drop this low, that it's going to be over, that that's what is here for this energy of ten of wands, telling us on Monday you will finally drop the load. There is little celebration, there is news, six of cups. We again talking some sort of small celebration, get together, uh, people coming to congratulate you, bring some flowers or, or a bottle of wine and oh, all good, all good. Not much of philosophy or a deep intention here, but good, uh, um, friendly, candid talk, 
kind talk with the Six of Cups. We can also talk children, we can uh, talk something that is uh, from your past, happy memories from your past, remembering your childhood, your friends from your from long time ago, people that you went to school together, that sort of energy, you know, that kind of nostalgia, those were days, those were beautiful days, remember how nice it was, so and so. And it um, goes very well with your influencing energy, and I think this, what was your burden, it will be, you will be relieved on this day. Particularly that we have this <laughs> Two of Cups, but I think it's not related. Two of Cups and Knight of Cups. I think that you're gonna offer love to another. <laughs> Two of Cups. Your good intention, your love intention, and you, and you are ready to say it. Could be something very romantic in here on Tuesday. Something... Um, somebody new that comes in your life and you feel this is my soulmate, this is my twin flame or what, whatever you're gonna call it. But this is one that I really, and you're really romantic in here. This is being romantic and coming with a beautiful offer. But it could be also, could be also that you're coming uh, with the love offer to anybody around you you want to help, you want to be with, you, any school friend, children, mother, friends, anybody, you are like this, romantic, uh, artistic, that kind of energy that you have within you, and you want to be with somebody with harmony, with love on this day. Very, very nice energy. For Tuesday. <laughs> Now, we coming into this, I saw it at first immediately, this uh, Wednesday and Thursday, kind of dodgy days. Dodgy cards, doesn't need to be dodgy days for you, hopefully, uh, that tarot never really applies 100% for everybody, so, yeah, let's hope it's not, <laughs> this doesn't work. Um, because now, what I'm talking about this Wednesday, Seven of Swords and uh, Nine of Swords, your nightmare, this is... Um, um, thief, manipulator, liar, um, some deceitful person, some situation where is manipulative situation, somebody trying to escape its obligations, um, all things like that. A nine of swords, it is your nightmare. That's your nightmare. This day is not really nice. You are facing a, this, a, a very unpleasant conversation, communication that is really, really unpleasant. And it seems to me that you know kind of this person. It does have a reputation as, as a um, deceitful person. And uh, that's your nightmare. You are facing this person on this day. Um, five of Swords. It's gossip. You know this person for its reputation, bad reputation, and now everybody knows about this person. Some, somehow um, somebody revealed this person, show uh, its true color to the public or something like that, and that made you very happy, like a truth has come finally visible. They, <clears throat> that person is um, not humiliated, but you know it's brought to light what this person is doing and and is stealing, or um, there was maybe was also stealing, and it came visible there. You are very happy about it, very happy. Maybe something was stolen there from you, and you will retrieve it. It could also be something like that. <clears throat> King of Swords and the Sun. King of Swords is energy that you really like. That's kind of your energy, Aquarius. Intellectual, logical, you know, studious, professor, you know, good advisor. That kind of very much of authority, very kind of official um, uh, uh, person. But the sun card within you, oh, you're seeing it in a, everything in such a beautiful light. Again, children with sun card. I mean, we do have the child, uh, this uh, page could be child. And then we have six of cups. Again, maybe children, maybe, maybe we're talking children around, somehow involved into this week, 
in some situation with you. But the Sun card is beautiful energy. When you really feel optimistic, um, when you're really happy with yourself, whatever it is, small things, big things, for you on Friday, you are very happy about, about what you know about what you understood, how you conducted yourself, how everything what you saw and how logically and factually you presented everything. You are very, very happy with yourself. Could be also some official, could be maybe lawyer, if we talk this legal thing, some thief, some some uh, stuff stolen and retrieved as, as it could indicate for some of you. Anything like that applies for these two, but the Sun card, Anyhow, it's a beautiful energy. It's beautiful. It doesn't reach far because it is current. It is today. It's or, or it's couple of days. It's something new. It's children. It's uh, but it's a beautiful. It is beautiful nonetheless. Anything. It could be that you just going decided that you go somewhere by the beach to be on your own, reading the books and so and so. But uh, I think it will be a bit more than that on this Friday. King of Swords is a serious authority, very strong energy. Mind, logic, intellect, communication. Anyway, Saturday, Queen of Pentacles, double energy of Queen of Pentacles. Now we have this business mind in here and it's definitely you. It's definitely you. It's not, uh, maybe you have in mind somebody who's your role model and it's it's a business person, maybe, maybe Taurus, maybe Virgo, maybe, maybe Capricorn. Very earthy. And, and maybe you look up to this person and you want to be like this person. But whatever, nonetheless, you in here um, have this business mind. Uh, you always have in mind somebody else as well for others good as well. That motherly feeling, that caring feeling comes always with this um, Queen of Pentacles. Maybe there's somebody in your environment that needs help and you are helping in that manner. Or you do have somebody, you do have partner in here with the same mindset as well. Saturday could be also something like that. But anyhow, this is beautiful business mind, very caring, lovely one. Very solid, very earthy. King of Wands with Two of Cups. Now we have Two of Cups coming again. And King of Wands in the environment. Um, somebody that you're dealing with, it's Aries perhaps, maybe Leo. Uh, but Aries, King of Wands, we would normally say it like that. Two of Cups, it's you being very um, happy with yourself. I think from this um, double energy of Queen of uh, Pentacles, where you found yourself this, this one, Two of Cups, that's what made you happy, that's what fulfilled you. Now yeah, I am all right. That everybody, now there's money, now there's little house, now children, everybody is now taken care of. Good care are they about everybody. Or if you needed to, uh, to um, if, if it's your business, everything is now set and done and works like, like a, a well-oiled well machine. You know, this kind of, that happiness here, I've done it and I'm happy with myself. Quite um, very much an equilibrium that we feel, this harmony that we have within. Uh, when we really very pleased with ourselves, with the small stuff, big stuff, doesn't matter, but just feeling calm and happy. King of Wands, you're in, in your environment, perhaps you have somebody who's Aries, as I said, uh, that's a very strong person. It's maybe jolly one, this uh, king. Entrepreneur, um, small business, doing lots with his hands, you know, um, coming back from work or, you know, seeing clients and customer coming back and then fixing plumbing quickly. <laughs> you know, that one does everything and enjoys it. You know, that one is kind of, um, you know what is strange? I couldn't pick up one um, energy dominant one. You know, it was kind of lots of things, you know, like a day after day, small days, one after another, one after another, just like that, just a regular week, regular days. I like your weekend though. 
and I hate you on Wednesday. Anyway, anyway, Aquarius, I hope that you're going to enjoy it.